Welcome to um, session 91 of Adventure for Beginners. And I know it's a Thursday and we're playing, which seems weird, but um, we're making up for a session because we can't play on Monday. And yeah. So uh, we started a little bit late, but we are ready to jump right back into where we were uh, last week. So, Travis, I know you've been waiting to start this for a while. Why don't you build us back up and get us back in? Yeah, so um, where last we left off, our intrepid adventurers had made their way over to um, the, the capital of Ariadnish. You guys have been there for some time. Uh, you were waiting for um, one of the, the priests of Pelor to do a little potion brewing. Um, and we finally got to see at the beginning of the last session uh, Buck get his potion. And, uh, and what happened when you, you drank that, Allison? Buck is now her again. Buck is Fonalin, a.k.a. the character I actually created. So a <laughs> female <laughs> elf ranger. Um, so yeah, I uh, I drank it. It was very strong tasting. I believe it was a spicy flavor. It was hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you She kept telling me to drink milk and stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> it long-lasting. Kind of sticks in your throat feeling. Um, yeah. But I turned into a, a woman again. Um, then like a bunch of crazy shit happened. And now I might die. I don't even know. Yeah, so so you guys um, uh, managed to get that potion that you had been waiting for, and um, while you had been in the city, you'd seen a uh, procession come through from the elven nation of Cien. Um, so uh, there were quite a few of the, the counselors and uh, various other high-ranking officials, um, and they had come to uh, Ariadnish, as you guys found out, to um, broker an alliance, basically uh, to... to get a, uh, a political connection going and to uh, share some responsibility with the refugees. Um, and Jimmy, where were those refugees coming from? Uh, well, Palatinus and Taurus, and then coming up through Cien and then into, mm -hmm. the, into Ariadnish. Yeah, so, uh, so a bit of a war-torn area that you guys had been through uh, earlier. And um, yeah, there, there were just a huge number of refugees um and the uh this like political deal was um kind of uh, uh it was uh kind of brought to light to all the people of Ariadnish by um someone they didn't haven't seen very often their uh their great leader um kevin who is that uh not the stab four. That's the under one we're talking to. Mm-hmm. It starts with an A. <laughs> yeah, so Archimandrite... Archimandrite. Archimandrite. There we go. Yeah, so, so this young kid, he's like a, a chosen of Paylor. He's this kind of reincarnation. At least that's how the, the church tells you it happens. But, um, yeah, he, he came out, um, gave kind of a, a very short speech, but uh, the crowd ate it up crowd that you guys managed to uh, be in. Um, Josh, where were you guys when the, the Archimandrite was giving his speech? So we were on this nice, lovely stand behind a bunch of CN counselors, mm -hmm. including um, Durian's uncle that only two people in the entire world sort of know about. Not me, though. But Yeah. Yeah, yeah we you guys had... Them. Yeah, you guys had front row seats specifically requested by you to uh, go and watch this speech, see this, like, um, you know, momentous political occasion, uh, a big uh, alliance between some countries, and then it started raining. Um, so I think that's where we pick up today. Uh, so we um, we hear some uh, some hammering footfalls. Uh, we see the inside of a building. It's uh, It's dark. Um, there's the, the sound of thunder in the background, um, and we hear this, uh, this running from, like, uh, from the outdoors, and a door slams open, and there's a, uh, a small gnome in the doorway. Uh, she's clothed in black, she has pink hair, um, and, and she's got her hood up, and she looks just distraught. And as Violet runs into the room, she slams open another door at the far side, and, uh, uh, there's a stairwell going down, and, and on the other side of it is uh, 
a uh, human woman in heavy black armor, kind of spiky, nasty looking. And she kind of looks up as she's climbing the stairs and, and Violet stammers, Ken, Kendra, Kendra, outside. And uh, the human woman's confused. She looks at her, Violet, what's going on? That elven bitch bit me. I tried to feed her. We were told to, I, I swear to God, if she does that again, I don't care what the, uh, the counselor says. I'm going to punch her right in the... And before we hear how she would conclude that sentence, we hear a roar in the distance, a massive one, and the top of this building gets swept away in a uh, flash of claws. We see um, Kendra and, and Violet both like stand up and, uh, and look out into the sky that uh, wasn't there a minute ago, and uh, we see the tail of a huge dragon, black scales, uh, rivulets of, of kind of molten orange um, glow along their body. And uh, we see her flying back off toward the, uh, the tower. And Kendra and Violet look at each other, and, uh, and they start running toward the screaming crowd, uh, drawing weapons as they go. And we flash over to the battle scene. Uh, we see this massive dragon fly over the, um, the walls of the temple that are surrounding you guys. Um, and we uh, see that Durian... It's the top of the order. It's your turn. No. No, he already went. I oh, I went and awesome. we paused. We made a note of it at the top or above Very the good. Green, green stuff. So. Awesome. Yeah, so I, I think we see this massive dragon sweeping over the walls that uh, uh, line around the um, huge Tower of Palor. And we see, I think as she goes along, uh, her claws sweep out and smash the top of a guard tower. And um, we see uh, men and the pieces of a, a massive um, uh, Bastel... Bastille? Bastilla? How do you say? How do you say that? I always I think forget it's, this. It's Bastilla. Bastilla. Bastille. Bas I think it's. Bas I don't know. Like yeah, the plural of it. The, the, ma oh, the massive yeah. like rotating mounted crossbows. The huge like three man. Oh, turn ballista. Big winch. Ballista. Ballista. Yeah. Ballista. Uh, we're all so smart. <laughs> <laughs> so we see well, per, see her like knock the top of this tower of <laughs> ballista and men f pieces of ballista and men flying, um, and I think we see her kind of sweep the crowd and and uh, go along the um, uh, along the outer wall toward the next tower, and then we see that that guy is no longer there. Uh, Durian in front of you is a familiar face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, remind me again. Last time we played, did you stab at this guy? I hit him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the statement, Travis. I he think you did. Die. So I, I think we see you, like, I draw 12, back your... 12 damage, I think. Yeah. I yeah, think we see crit. you draw back your sword. Um, blood on it. And he kind of looks down at this wound in his side looks up, grab his big two-handed sword, and say, You will pay dearly for that! And we see him swing uh, with a massive overhand chop um, uh. going at your face. Uh, what miss percentage chance does he have? Because you're blinking around. 50%. You want to roll or do I? Let's cross our fingers. Uh, he will roll. Maybe. Uh, maybe. What's What do I want? Lower or higher? One or two. Uh, well, he's he's rolling, so high is good for him. So yeah, we see him like cut straight through you, but you like blink out of existence at that point, and he uh, snarls and tries an uppercut, uh, and he, wow, roll twenty slow. The suspense is killing me. Like everything is going slow. For Don't me worry, tonight. he might have. Travis, Come on. did you Come enable on. slow mode or something? Uh, I didn't know that was an option. No, I'm kidding. There's no slow mode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, so, so we see him sweep his sword up. Uh, I can't read that die. Um, up and into your chest. Um, rolling a 28 total. Woo! That's a hit. Oof. That's a hit. Oh boy. Okay. 
So he slashes you for 16 damage. Fine. Yeah. Ow. And then I think he looks at you and says, You and your friends won't be escaping this time. It won't be like the boats. I eat. Uh, yeah, and I can't fool. see my turn order. I start getting triggered by the mention of the boats, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> 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 Nice. Your yeah. voice cracks for a moment, and you're like, no. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Not like this. No. Not like this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Not yet. No. Awesome. So, yeah, I think all the priests are either dead or asleep. So, Nina, it is your turn. Alright, so this is where I'm going to do the classic scythe movement, because of sure. the whole body, I think. Yeah, and I'm you, just can, going to... you can use your action to pull yourself out without having to to roll. So I yep, guess in that then... this version, that would be a standard action. Yeah, so uh, there we go. Uh, and then I'll stand for my movement, and I'll point okay. to the two, um, two remaining wear things. Yeah, and the jackal They're all yours. In Elven. Oh, yes. How oh, nice. Fawn, it is your turn. If you wish okay. to engage the five-foot step thing, you could head over here and start stabbing one guy in the face. I will. I will stab him in the face. Nice. Okay. Engage okay. face stabbing. Let's uh, make sure... I opened Firefoot's thing, and I was like, this is, this is wrong. <laughs> this is not right. Okay. Um, so I had my rapier, and I had my rod of ice out. Uh, it sounds like there's War a horror drums. movie going War on. drums. Yeah, it sounds War like drums. a horror movie. <laughs> um, okay. So, six. Wait, hold <laughs> they usually yeah, stop at this point. I don't know why they're still going. So a twenty nine and a twenty one, and that is with the plus twos to attack, Jimmy. Nice. So is that stabbing with your uh, rapier? Uh, first is the rapier. The second is the rod of ice. Okay, cool. Uh, roll those damages separately, please. I can do that. I'm just gonna keep doing this, and every time I hear buddy bang, <laughs> like just cover up the sound. Oh, so this is for my rapier. That is nice. also with a plus two. Yeah, and you gouge my... him one good. The rod of ice still does the the d6 plus d4, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. D6 plus d4 plus three. And then eight, so eight Backhanded. <clears throat> yeah, you you crack him in the head. Uh, he's still alive, but he's like. But I've got stumbling. two more attacks. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about dodge uh, bonus. I need to do that. 16, so 32. <laughs> you probably should. Okay. And... Yeah. And 17. Cool. So you, you stab him with the rapier on the first one, right? Yeah, yes. The rapier awesome. is on the first one. Do, cool. Is this the second one hit or no? Uh, it doesn't, but I don't think it'll matter. So roll okay. me damage. Ten. Ten. Awesome. You stab him through the throat. You feel oh his boy. hot blood uh, running down the handle of your rapier. Oh boy! And as you do, oh no, you feel oh no. itchy. No. All over. No. Oh. No. <laughs> what? No. What? No. 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 You no. feel your belt loosen slightly. No, no, no. And no, the no. shoulders of your armor no. tighten. Are you lying to me? <laughs> And as you pull the sword out, you feel different, but oh so familiar. What what did you just do? What did you just attack? I attacked one of the, the, the jackal wares. Good. I will Am I not a jackal wear? Am I a jackal wear, Travis? Am I hairy? You are not. Dude. It's a familiar feeling. Man? But but let's just say that that you are right now what you were this morning. <laughs> God damn it. Well, well, just as luckily, just as luckily, yeah. we have a new potion. So, so you guys would literally—I'm not gonna like shout this in my apartment, but you're gonna hear, "Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> God damn it!" I think it's like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Yeah, I—I I think, 
I think you uh, you see just a, a bit of steam rising off of the sword uh, hilt as the blood kind of melts away. Kaben! So, if you kill the last one, you should revert back to normal. Motherfucker! <laughs> Thanks, Nina! <laughs> you hear me Wait, saying it with she... like a really deep voice. Wait, did she kill Sorry, that one, me. Travis? Oh yeah, yeah, she killed it. Let me X that guy out here quick. Was... Travis, you're I was rude. Gonna say That's just... hilarious. I was said, just kill the other one and you'll change back. You're it's, cursed. It's funny, you've you've taken literally this so long to kill something that bleeds with that sword. Hey. Kaven, your turn. He's drop, dropping some knowledge bombs there. Alright, uh, I know I'm on this thing, but how f Oh, that's not- that's Miles. How far am I from this, uh, this dude that looks familiar? Uh, you're within 30 feet. He's, he's like, just at the edge of about 30 feet. Sweet. And I'm assuming Mama Dragon is somewhere else in the city? Yeah, she's, like, flying... So, she's probably out of your range. She's flying along that edge of the wall, like, knocking over towers as she goes. Oh, okay. Okay. So, she's circling around, but right now she's just away from us. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, yeah, I will, uh... I'll do this uh, rapid shot on this guy, and is his back to me? Uh, his side is to you. Okay, is that a plus one in this edition? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so rapid shot. Um, so I have a plus 14, plus one for 30 feet, plus two for Jimmy's thing, and plus one for side. Is that right? Sounds about Shoot right. You. Okay. Twenty-eight. Uh, this twenty-eight. You hit him. The dude that's stabbing at you, and you're stabbing at him. Des Desneth. Desneth. Apparently. I gotta ask him his name next turn, so that's All right, not so medic. Alright, so D eight plus two plus two plus one. You tell Hold me. On. Sorry. Okay. D eight plus two is normal. Plus the one for close range. Plus two for Jimmy's thing. Plus my little uh. Flary oh. damage. <clears throat> my, uh, my... you do see it, yeah. Because this guy used to be a dragon before, right? And yeah. It was well, them. he's just evil, I think. I think that's how it works. Do we have that written down? Uh, it's in it? your bow, how it works. Oh, 2d6, yes. I don't see it written down anywhere. Okay, plus 2d6. Alright. 14 damage. Nice. Yeah, your arrow hits him in the side and flares with energy. Nice. Uh, and you hear him growl. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. Second uh, shot. Second shot. 27. 27 is a hit. Okay, same damage. 14 damage. Nice. That yeah, he constant... takes another big arrow. All right, and last shot, which is not a little bit less of the bonus. 17. 17 Man, misses him. All these rolls were so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit weird. I'll all take right. any hits. I mean, yeah, I'll take two hits. That's that's good. Um, and then. Oh, go ahead. So, am I on like the top part? Like their bleachers, I'm on, kind of. Yeah, you're like halfway up. I'm halfway up. How 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 close is it like to the ground I'm on? Um, it's. I, you mean if you jump over the back? Uh, like you can, you can. Over the back. Yeah, they're they're descending this way, so yeah. But... Um, you could run down the slope. If you jump over the back, you would need some movement. Uh, okay. you took a full round action, so. I know. I'm just curious, like what the distances. I I'm not gonna go. I'm just curious the distances. Um, if you drop, I think it's like just over ten feet. Okay. Cool. If yeah, you, you know. Oh, good. Like, I took a d6 before, yep. but I think Travis let me try to do a check to do sure. something, and I failed yeah. it anyway, so... Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's... that's what I do. Alright. Oh, wait. Nice. Is this... do I technically get my extra damage against this guy? Is he... is he a dragon or not? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Because I would get eight more damage on this guy. Oh. Uh... I believe you refer to him as a half dragon, Travis. I don't know what happens with half dragons. Um, Do I get half the bonus? Yeah. One, one sec. Okay. Uh, type, 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 type. Size and type. 
Uh, type is dragon, yeah. All so, right. so add in uh, your damage there. So four on each one of those hits, so plus eight more damage. Ooh, yeah, he's looking rough at this point. Okay. All right. Stay alive, Jimmy. That's what I do. Stay alive. Nice. All right, so the jackal wear, um, uh, this one manages to get up and get himself out of the ice. And he runs at you. Well, I hope he bleeds on me and turns me back into a woman. <laughs> he runs at you, Buck, and uh, swings and swipes at you with his claws. Um, missing on the first attack and very much hitting on the second one. Uh, all right, let me just find his stats here. Uh, so he was swiping at you with his claws. There we are. Um, awesome. Yes. The sword curse or something? So he hits you for six damage. That's not bad. Um, not bad. And that's that's his turn. Durian, you see the dragon, the huge dragon, uh, flying kind of around the tower just out of your sight range and coming back. Mm. You can hear a crunch of masonry and the screams of men as she goes. Yeah, I'm just updating Blink and my bonuses. Okay, first of all, I put my dodge bonus on this dude. Forgot Not a bad that. idea. Uh, second, yeah, I'm I'm going in. Uh, one question I had, which I mm -hmm. whispered you, but you're busy DMing and shit. Yeah. It says that uh, you strike as an invisible creature with a plus two on attack rolls, denying your target any dex bonus to AC. Of course they've got to make it complicated. <laughs> well, I critted last time, so it didn't matter, but... Yeah. Just... So is that plus two and there's an AC mod on your end, or is the plus two the um, adjustment? Plus two the hit, and he's flat-footed, isn't he, Travis? Mm, I don't know. Uh, of course, they have to make this a big thing. What's the spell again? Blink? Blink. Yeah, so, Blink. Yeah, we got physical that? attacks against you. This. Uh, any individual blinking unless, yada yada. Uh, you take half damage. You strike as invisible. So it says in parentheses with a plus two bonus on attack rolls. When blinking... Okay. Okay, cool. So you get a plus two and he doesn't get his dex. Which is the effect of, his, of flat foot, right? Because flat foot is just you don't get your uh, dex. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Okay. Cool. So I'm I'm swinging with a plus fifteen instead of uh, plus thirteen. Nice. Boom. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yeah, you stab him one good. Uh, two d six plus or one d six plus six, I think. Uh, sounds right. Me? Yeah, that sounds right. Because it was just no one d six plus. Oh, I gotta look at my attack. Damage, d6 plus 1, and it's plus 2, d6, so it's d6 plus 3. Cool. Right. Uh, roll d6 plus 3, boom. Nine. Oh! What's it look like when you kill him? Uh, oh, so I see a particularly couple nasty arrows take him right after he, like, uppercutted me something fierce. And I just, uh, I just do the turn away, like, very, uh, fencer-like, and just looking away, like, put my put my uh, rapier through his eye socket. Nice. And then, like, brains get pushed out and a little thin line on the other side. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You pull out your rapier and he just uh, wobbles a bit and then slumps to his knees and you hear him just breathe out, Mother! Uh -oh. As he collapses. Uh, yeah, well, I was gonna swing again, but seeing as uh, he's down. I'm going to move at this point. And uh, I'm going to go run up to near Caven, below him a little bit, but okay. up, up maybe five or ten feet. Yeah. Yeah, and I think as you do, um, you, you run towards him and you can see that the 
um, the priests and the guards that were kind of around the, the pulpit as the um, uh, Archimandrite was giving a speech have, like, finally gotten him into the door, him and the great Shima, and, and they're, they're pushing him in, they're closing the doors, um, battening the hatches behind them. Um, and you can see the uh, unmoving, uh, unconscious, passed out body of... Uh, of Lady Tegan just kind of slumped on the oh, stage yeah, where you left her. her. Oh, yeah. Rip. So then, I think the dragon comes around. So we see her circle, uh, buzz another tower. Several men, like, just jump out of it. She doesn't even uh, hit at it. Um, but I think as she passes over you two, Caban and Durian, you see her look down. And open her great jaws. The uh, the fiery rivulets on her side glowing uh, bright orange. And, <laughs> you, see, finally and you see, and you see her exhale a line of acid at you. Uh, uh, wait, wait, roll me, take there. roll me reflex saves. All right. Well, I think I need a chance to miss. Thankfully, Watch, Kaben gets yeah. like a nat twenty plus. If it 16. is a breath weapon considered a targeted spell. Okay. It, no, is it? Is a targeted spell, a breath weapon, considered a spell? Uh, no. It's an AoE. So I think there's a thing about AoE. While blinking, I only take half damage. Except okay. if it extends to the ethereal plane. Now, if I if I beat my right reflex save, does that mean I take half of half, or what? Uh, yes, I would think so. Cool. Yeah, that's how it works in 5 edition. It's half of half. If you All right, here we go. It's a barbarian. I don't know if that's good or not. Not good. Uh, so, uh, 12 is a fail, and a 24 is close. Ah! Uh, huh? The DC... Uh, is 20... Wait, wait, I get a plus two! Oh no, it's already factored in. Never mind. Sorry. Yep. So seven. the DC Ooh. is 27. <sighs> so you two both fail. Okay. Taking. I take half damage though. Yeah, I take half. Yeah. yeah. Evasion for the win. Taking 47 damage or 23 on a save. <gasps> All right. <gasps> or on a half. <gasps> oh, 23. I'm down to six HP. I'm and there goes myself. my I'm, hair. I'm again. sorry. I'm sorry. That was supposed to be 16 D4. Uh, so minus three, so it's 44. 44, 22. So, yeah, so 22 29, on the save. 29, 22, 7. So I get two more hit points back? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you took it out already. Yeah, and we see her uh, buzz over you guys. Uh, is there a fear effect thing we need to do? Or? Yeah, I think there is. If you guys could give me a, a save against that. Okay, we get the plus two bonus to fear. Right. What's the... Yep. Uh... Is it will or fortitude? Or... So she's Pretty actually hard. flying... Oh, shit. Not close. Roll 20. So she's flying close enough to get all of you into this. So right, everyone just... give me a save, please. Well, what is the what save? Is, the is it will or fortitude? Uh, it is... All the saves, uh, every single one of them at once. It is. Uh, I don't have it noted here. I would imagine it's a will save, but. Uh, I was hoping you'd say fortitude. Uh, if it's like a fear aura, it's gonna be will. Why, why am yeah, I so bad at will yeah, saves? Will saves. Will save, yeah. Kevin, here we go. Boom! Oh, I needed that last time. Oh, you you <laughs> succeed. Make sure everybody uh, added two to their to oh, their I didn't. I PC. Did. Nice. I failed. So Caven have... saves. Nina fails. Buck fails. Non natural Durian. twenty is a fail. Huh? Non natural twenty is a fail. I didn't realize the plus two is to fear, even though it says importantly a plus two bonus to fear. DC is twenty four. Fuck. What? Oh my wow. god. Yeah, she's a big. Yeah, dragon. this is a massive dragon <laughs> that you guys are are throwing arrows at. So anything else for me would have been a fail. Uh, seems so. Damn. That Jimmy, low wisdom, my, buddy. Jimmy, thank you for that plus two. Yeah. Priests oh, wow. are all dead. Nina Alia. Uh, the fear. Uh, what does this do again? So yada yada. Sorry. 
on a That's failure because those with so you are shaken so you are taking a minus two to attack save skills abilities okay uh but i can still move around and do whatever i just have a yeah, little shake yeah you're you're not uh you're just like what does nina look like when she's shaken i mean this massive oh. dragon just bathes two of your friends in acid um as she flies by buzzing low over the wall uh so to rp this a little bit rather than saying i'm shaken by fear i'm sort of shaken by a traumatic event or something similar that's happened before travis yeah yeah i In mean that, you were um, you were hit by that same type of acid attack and knocked down on a burning uh pirate base in the middle actually, of the sea travis even before that uh, where there was the Chimera who spit acid on a certain friend of ours. Ah, yes. Yeah, acid um, has not been your friend. And so I sort of tremble with a little bit of rage and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get my goddamn bow and I'm going to shoot her in the back. Yeah, yeah, she had to buzz uh, low and close. So she's probably within 30 feet of you. She's oh, just yes. like, you're getting your bow out probably as she's flying towards you and as she's clearing the wall, you're taking aim. So, uh, give us an attack roll. And I assume I have back attack because she's flying. Yeah, plus over. two. Um, so, so the back attack negates the, the shaken thing. So roll the okay. rest of the stuff with plus all three. Plus Jazz. Plus a... <laughs> yeah, this fucking addition, oh. man. <laughs> Can't wait till through all five eat. Oh! Boom. Nice. The crit. You uh, wow. No crit. I see yeah, no crit, but you you see your arrow fly true and fast and sink into her heavily armored scaled hide. Right in the loins. Yeah, I was, hoping, I, was, I was hoping for the 320s in a row and just snipe it down, but oh well. Yeah, I don't know if that works on certain <laughs> characters. <laughs> um, Why not? It's like a, a 1 in 40,000 chance, Travis. Might as well. Yeah, so you, you hit her good. You see blood uh, start running down her flank where the arrow digs in deep. You have time for another shot. Yep. Doing a plus 2 to damage and attack, right? Yep. Okay. Got it all back to them. That's what that should be thought. Nah, I yeah, that, that yeah, and that one I think we see just gets undershot, hits the wall as she starts uh, to clear it. Fawn, Buck. Yes. At the same time, you uh, you <laughs> see this jackal wear slashing at you with his claws. Yeah, he's a uh, you know f frothing at the mouth. Stop it! Um, wait, I'm feared, right? Uh, yes. So I have so to So you're run away. shaken as well. You're you're shaken, so oh, you have yeah, a minus shakes. two to basically everything. Yeah. It's not like okay, it's not okay. the same as so just, Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought it's not the same was, as was Still, you run away, but I didn't realize she, it was shaken instead of frightened. Yep. Okay. Um. So I'm I'm visibly afraid because something just bled on me, and I'm starting to draw the conclusion that when it bled on me, like that's what happened because nothing else was different than usual. Yep. Um, so I'm I'm a little bit worried, uh, but I'm gonna fight this anyways because it's either you're... that or go run at that dragon, which is not a good idea. <laughs> Seems like a worse yeah, idea. Yeah, you're you're catching yeah. the jackal fever as you're stabbing away at these <laughs> the things. Jackal fever. Okay, so this is my rapier. This yeah, is you hit. my my uh, uh, rod of ice. Hit so, and hit. D six plus. So nine for the rapier, nice. and d6 plus d4 plus one, and seven for the uh, rod of ice. That's not right. Yeah, you only get a plus one hard. to bonus? Yeah. Oh, because it's minus two. two to everything. No, because... Uh, sorry, oh. it's minus two to everything but damage. Oh. And uh, and you're getting a plus two to Let damage me from me, too. Let so. that. Shaken is... Well, you have, for, for my damage for the rod of ice, Travis, you have... D6 plus D4 plus 1. Yes. So it would yeah. be plus 3. Yep. With right. Durian's uh, war song. Okay. I've got, yeah, you've got a... So yeah. so yeah. for that, so that would be 11 and 9. Then. You drop them. Sweet. 
Yeah, did, you crack he, him with the rod of ice. Is it, okay, so is he bleeding? Um, yeah, I mean, you just stabbed him and cracked him in the face. Okay, can I, like, not as in, like, an attack, but can I just, like, slice his arm and then, like, put the blood on myself? See what happens? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think we see you, like... <laughs> I'm just like, like, what does it look like when you're kind of losing it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, Are you I'm just... like, fr I'm freaking out right now. I, and yep. I'm kind of like, I I'm shaken from the dragon and I'm also freaking out because I'm a dude again. Just like, um, you can see my hands visibly shaking and like fear, but anger as well. I'm just like, I what is going on? It's like, what's in the box? That kind of moment. So I'm like, I like cut his arm and I like, you know, make sure my sword has blood on it. And I like yeah. use the side of it to try and like put it on my hand. Okay. To see yeah, if it you, changed anything. Yeah, you do that. Um, you, like, don't notice any immediate, like, feeling that's different. Um, but you're, like, shaking as you do this. Maybe we we see, we see hear your armor jingling or your teeth chattering or something. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just, like, talking to myself, freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Caben. Hey, am I within 30 feet of Mama? Yes. Yeah, yes. she was just... You're, like, wheeling around, took the acid in the back like a champ, and uh, and you're wheeling around to shoot. All right. I am. I'm wheeling around to shoot. So Cave I'm in. Doing... No fish. Bring it down. Bring I'm it down. I'm doing Legolas. my full Sorry. round action again. Rapid shot, I guess. Sure. Yeah. So have 14, at it. 14 uh, plus one. It's, do I get back attack, which plus two? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So plus Add two. all the bonuses. Back attack plus two to Jimmy's thing. There you go. 38. Crit threat. 38 crit is a hit. I'm rolling again for the, a hit for the crit threat. threat. 31. A 31. Yeah, it is not. Okay. Yeah, it's a crit. It is not a crit. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this damage. So D8 plus... Uh, yeah, your arrow two. flares with energy as it strikes her hide. Oh, awesome. Thank you. So plus 2, plus 2 D6. 17 da- oh, uh, sorry, um, 21 damage for the dragon bonus. Nice. Yeah, you- you see the arrow, like, flash with energy, and you see where you hit the, like, rivulets of lava around her black scales, um, like, disappear for a moment and then the flash, um, and then they slowly reappear as, uh, as she flies away. Let's get your second attack. Okay, so does that- Sorry, does that just mean was that just flavor? Or did I did I not hit her? No, you you hit her. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you did All right, your damage. Second hit, thirty-seven. Is a hit. Okay. It's damage. I'll put the plus four in here this time. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, you hit her again. Um, there's another flare of energy. Uh, and as you do so. Something weird happens. Oh, great. Um, you see, like, uh, the, the same waver that, like, uh, took away the, the sort of rivulets of, of glowing uh, uh, hot embers on her skin mm -hmm. um, continues and waves along her entire length. Um, and you see her uh, changing. Um, you see the, the scales take on kind of a, a duller, less glossy form of black than the, like... Um, the obsidian that uh, that shined in the light. You see the the rivulets of, of like hot lava running down her sides disappear, um, and you see the the horns on her head kind of um, waver and get replaced by ones that sweep out and forward. Um, and you see a different dragon flying over uh, away from you. <laughs> what? Is that the Marquis? Okay. So take your third shot. Different dragon. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, third shot. Thirty crit threat. Uh, crit threat. Roll it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do I do now, Travis? Well, it's not. Uh, your first one wasn't a natural twenty, it so wasn't. you crit her. Him? It? Okay. No, no. Cool. So I get so now I do three times everything, right? In this edition. Yes, sir. Okay. Three times. Why is it three times? Got a bow. Because these bows got a time modifier. Oh, it's, I count my sight times. times four. So yeah. I have a three d eight, sixty six, 
This is a six, two, four. This is a three, this is a six, and four times three is 12. Here we go, big money. 60 damage. No whammy, no whammy. Nice. Oh. Yeah. You strike heavily in this dragon's flank as it's turning around and uh, wheeling upward into the sky. Um, and yeah, you, you see it continue uh, flapping its wings and gaining altitude. So, uh, for reference, this is what you guys were seeing before. Right. A familiar sight. What you took to be the Marquise. This is what you see flying upwards after it changes. Because it wasn't, it wasn't spouting magma this time. It was spouting acid. Yeah, it was acid. Yeah. All right. Bunch Should of we... fucking cheap changing fucks. What, are, what is uh, going on? Nita, Nita has the biggest hashtag conspiracy theory that she's going to tell you all later. <laughs> what is going nice. on? Nice. And I all think right. I think it might actually be a hundred percent accurate, Travis. That's, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. Do. Keep it to yourself for the that, moment. That's what uh, I do. The jackal wares are all dead. Durian. You, like, get up, half your clothing melted off, um, some, uh, acid, uh, uh, acid melted metal, like, sloughing off of you. All of your flowers are dead. Oh. They'll grow back, probably. Aww. Um, and yeah, you, you, I think as you look up, you see this creature change, um, as it flies away from you. What do you do? Okay. How far away, it, it, does it seem to be... Yeah, Does it you seem to be taking another slow pass, or is it up and t gaining serious altitude? Yeah, it's it's wheeling upward. It is flapping hard, trying to gain some height. Um, but it's still within 30 feet of you as you, like, wheel around two. Uh, uh, hide. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no other enemies. There was another dragon around before. He's nowhere to be seen, right? Or he or she. Uh, yeah, so he got hit by a couple of Caban's arrows and uh, change shape into the uh, the half-dragon that you were fighting. Oh. And killed, I might add. And killed. <laughs> oh. Great. Well, then I am... Um, I... Heal myself for now. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. <laughs> Heal or right. heal Think thyself. Are, things are going a little, a little slow at the moment. Uh, it's... Uh, it's the right thing to do. If you go mm. down, we're screwed. Yeah, no, no, no. I was saying uh, my browser was like... D8 plus 5. Okay, so that was good. 12. Uh, and then I... Um, shaken, but not stirred. I run over to <laughs> uh, Lady Tegan. Um, and I pick her up. And I'm gonna use my quick runner shirt, activate that. Okay. To carry her to the door. Yeah, you you feel her like trembling and and like just moaning lately, um, but she seems like, if not unconscious, like just kind of on the edge of consciousness. Um, you see uh, the the damage that was done while she was on the stage. One of her feet has been melted off. At the ankle. Um, yeah, and uh, I think uh, as you grab her, she, you hear her mumble, Curzon, Curzon. Yeah, I, 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 I just him. harshly, I mean, maybe my throat is burning from the acid I like inhaled, and I just harshly say, like, you know, you're hurt, keep your voice down. Yeah. Nice. You do your best solid snake impression, right? <laughs> you're hurt, keep your voice down. There there. All right. So yeah, um, you uh, you do that, and um, as you do, uh, you you pull her. Where were you pulling her towards? The door where they all departed. The like so the the door to the temple. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been closed. Um, is it a door door? Is it a drawbridge? What is it like? It's like this massive double oak. Uh, it's probably steel, actually. Okay, like, well, I'm going towards there, doors. and I'm shouting, you know, after I tell her, like, save your strength, I'm shouting, like, Lady Tegan's injured. Open up. The dragon's driven back. Open up. 
<laughs> nice. Do I see another entrance nearby, just before we continue? Uh, not, like, nearby, no. Okay. Um, there's, well, there's, like, just this big, I mean, it's, it's big enough to, you know, drive a, a pair of carts through side by side. Um, but the, like I said, the, the huge archway doors are closed. Um, yeah, and yeah I think uh... it's, I think as you run up, there are probably some, like, nobles in, like, tattered clothing that are like hammering at the door as well like people that were in the stands next to you you see like a a very large man in in uh you know uh uh very nice uh clothing rings on his fingers kind of a a pompous um uh yell as he's hammering on the door let us in um and yeah i uh i think that's a good time for our first break oh. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. Um, oh wait. I, sorry, retconning something. But sure. in order to have picked up Lady Tegan, I would have had to cancel Blink, so I did. Okay. You uh, you stop blinking for the moment. And always yeah. recast it. Cool. Yep. All right, guys. Oh, we're gonna take a quick break. Five seven minutes. Uh, please stay tuned. We'll be back before you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 